Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Uh, a few minutes ago, UPS delivered a box that I ordered from uh, uh, DX Engineering. And I think the price was 180 And the manufacturer's name is here, MFJ. Now, there are uh, some uh, fuses and the main fuse. Uh, we're going to get into the details of this box, so uh, it's going to make some sense in a minute. That's a, uh, a 40 amp fuse. Looks to me like the cable might be number eight, so probably it can handle the current. Some of the uh, power poles on this are on an angle. They're not straight up and down. The uh, metalwork is maybe a 4 out of 10. Quality of construction, I'd give it a 3 out of 10. And let me show you what I found on the inside. Uh, there is uh, two, there are rather, two circuit boards. And uh, I noticed that now that uh, there was a cold solder joint. So I pulled on the wire and uh, let me see if I can grab it here. And um, pulled it right off. So uh, it not only was a cold solder joint, it wasn't soldered at all. The bottom one is the uh, negative rail and I think the box and everything is all tied to ground. So that one I'm not worried about. The switch I can't quite read the current handling on the switch. Uh, the other wire uh, that's over here on the second half of the switch, it's a single pole, it's a single pole double throw switch, and they've picked up just half of it. That wire is also loose. And uh, notice that there's a quality assurance sticker on there with uh, a couple of signatures of people who didn't do their job. Um, it says that the, now here's where we get down into the details. It says that there are, um, that, that uh, out, power poles uh, 4 to 12 are switched and can handle 20 amps. Now, do you think, honest, that that little wire that maybe is 18 gauge can handle 20 amps at all? And the answer to that is no, not even close. So I'm going to remove, it wasn't even soldered into place anyway, so I'm going to remove uh, both sides of that switch and solder in uh, 12 gauge actually. And so that'll handle 20 amps and I'll go to the switch. My concern about the switch is, can the switch handle the current? And <laughs> that other wire, if I pull hard enough, there we go. Now I've got both wires off. So you tell me, how that passed quality control. And don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, it's now the next day. I made the repairs to the um, MFJ box. I've installed it and it's working fine. And I also ordered from Ham Radio Outlet another box similar to the original one uh, from MFJ with the power poles. That box will be used here at the uh, desk where I do the video recording. I've already made up the cables in uh, uh, in most cases they're on my desk. That box is due from HRO today. And first thing I'm going to do is open it up and see if it has the same issues kind of things that I found in the prior two boxes. So we'll see if it's three out of three, and I certainly hope not. I don't have anything against MFJ. Um, I'm just looking at the things they have. Um, I, they've made an amazing contribution to amateur radio, uh, and amateur radio would not be the same without them. And certainly their advertising pages in QST um, support the printing of that magazine to a great extent. So the other box is due here by UPS, which should be sometime this afternoon. First thing I'll do is remove the screws and look inside and see if there's anything that, uh, that needs to be repaired. If there is or not, I'm going to do a YouTube video about what I find. 
Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do that. I need more subscribers and um, I have a goal and I'd like to get to that goal while I can. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California saying 73. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.